Hi there guys and girls, welcome to FLA442. My name's Ben and I'm going to show you how to make an animated texture for Minecraft. The programs on which I am using are After Effects and another program called Earth and View, which there's a link in the description box for our download. Earth and View takes your PNG animated sequence and turns it into a vertical panoramic, which is you then save that and import it into your texture pack folder and Minecraft then turns that sequence into the texture. Uh, so in saying that, that means you don't have to actually edit your terrain texture. Um, so if you go into your Minecraft folder, you'll see where texture packs are. Um, you know your terrain folders here. Say you want to make an animated diamond ore. You don't need to worry about these files. You just need to take this texture here. You take that texture there and then you put your animation on it and then what Minecraft does is it ignores this diamond texture down here and uses your specially made one. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And like I say, this is more of a how I done it rather than a how to tutorial. If you've got After Effects you can follow along, but like I say, I'm just really going to be showing you how I went about doing it, how I saved, what I saved it as and how I imported it into Earth and View and then how I ex what I saved it as in Earth and View to then make Minecraft recognize it as a texture. So think of this as more of a how I done it video rather than a how to how you can do a video, if that makes any sense. It's just in case people try and follow along and say, hey, I can't follow along because I don't have these programs. You'll, you'll, nine times out of 10 have the option to, to save as PNG sequence if you're using a video editing program. So, uh, and there's loads of programs out on the internet that you're, that's free that let you output your video as PNG sequences. So just, I'm sure if you type in free video editing program that saves as PNG, you'll find a hundred people telling you tutorials on how to do so. And if I do find a video that tells you how to find a program that outputs it as PNG, I will link it in the description box below also. Uh, but like I say, there's definitely going to be a link for Earth and View, so if you've already got After Effects, you just need this program here. Uh, without further ado, if I stop my rambling, I will show you my video settings first. Uh, compos in After Effects I'm going to go Composition, Composition Settings and I am making it this texture for my 64 by 64 bit texture pack so that means my texture width has to be 64 by 64 my duration for my animation is going to be 10 seconds long keeping in mind that uh, Minecraft loops the animation so now that I've got that made up I've got a 64 by 64 screen ready I'm now going to import my stone texture I'm going to pull it out onto my screen. I'll just zoom in a tiny touch. Right, what I want to do is first I'm going to go to layer, new, solid, and a cyan solid will be perfect. I'm going to select the polygon tool, which is going to make a polygon mask, because I think that looks more of a diamond shaped shape as opposed to circle. I'm just going to put a couple of dots on my screen. Some tiny ones, a couple of medium ones, oh, a small one just there. That looks about right. I'll just, yep, I'm I'm happy with that. That that looks quite awesome. Now what I'm going to do with my cyan solid selected, as I'm going to go to effects, stylize, and go and add a glow to it. Keep in mind the texture will loop, so I want the glow start to be the same as the glow finish. So I'm going to add a, a three percent glow at the beginning go halfway through the video which is five seconds make it do you know what I need to keyframe it first so there we go keyframe go to five seconds in make it make it five and then go back down to three that means when it loops it goes back to the original glow stage so if we just preview that quickly you'll see, it's really hard to see, but there's a very subtle pulsing glow happening where it goes bright and then goes down back to what it was before, then up again. Again, very slight, but it adds to the effect for later. So what I'm now going to do is go to New Solid and call this Solid OF for Optical Flare. And then I'm going to go down to Effects. Now keep in mind if you are following along with After Effects, if you go to Generate, you can select Lens uh, Flare. But for quickness for this tutorial, I'm going to use a pre-made Lens Flare, meaning I don't have to sit and make one. So keep it nice and quick for you guys. But like I say, you can make your own Lens Flare. Uh, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select Color. That'll 
will do me. And then I want to get rid of the these two dots here. Whatever they may be. They're near the top, obviously. They are. They're at the top. Derp. I will also get rid of that big glow, because that big glow is going to affect my texture. Uh, I'm now going to go to transfer mode and do a screen. And then what I'm going to do is I want to... <coughs> Excuse me. I want to set the brightness to begin at zero, and then count two frames in, and then go to eighty, and then count four frames and go down to zero again. One, two, three, four, back to zero, and again I'll go back to the beginning. I want to keyframe the rotation. So one, two, one, two, three, four, six in total. And I want to. I'll make that two. That means it's going to rotate twice on itself uh, over six frames so if we just preview that quickly as you can see that's it there it's really quick that's what I want because it's maybe sparkling now what I do is I'll just duplicate this layer a bundle of times that should be enough for me to work with I'll move this up get that position as well now I'll select my first one um, you know, I'll just move all these out the way, just move them all to here, and we'll work with what we've got. So I'll maybe go have my first sparkle happen here. And we will so because I didn't keyframe the position, it means I can move the position and it won't affect anything. We'll have the first sparkle happen center. And then we'll maybe move to about here. Select the next one. And we'll have the next sparkle happen here. Just make sure that the sparkle doesn't go out with the texture. I think that's just safe. And then we'll have the next one here. We'll have this one happen near the, s the middle of the texture so we can have the glow be a bit bigger. Maybe make it 120. We'll make the position be here on this tiny one. Do you know what? We can maybe have it bigger still. Maybe make it 160. That looks perfect. And then straight after it, we'll have a little sparkle happen just off the side. So select maybe this one here can sparkle just a little bit. So as that one's finishing sparkling, that one starts. And then we'll have the next sparkle happen here. And we will put this one up at the very top here. We'll lower the the brightness down to 40, just so it doesn't so the sparkle doesn't happen out with the texture. The next one we'll have here. We'll put the position of that one down to there. Keep it in mind, it doesn't matter where you have them. You know, you can. Have it all sparkle at the start and then no sparkles again or you can have a sheen happening where sort of like it, it flux the light fluctuates across it. Uh, it's just for the tutorial sake I am doing it like this. Uh I'll, well, do you know what we'll put one here. We'll make it go as bright as hundred and twenty. So now if we quickly ram preview that we will see these diamonds all giving off little sparkles that's perfect I'm happy with that and it loops itself so once you're happy with your version of what you've done you then go to composition and this is the important part obviously if you're using After Effects you go to composition uh, so you, you add to like a render queue and you want to go down to output module and you want to select footage to be outputted as a PNG sequence that's what you need PNG sequence do OK do um, output to I've already done a tutorial already I'll tell you what I'll do I'm that confident this will work out I will just select all these files and delete them and redo it so there we go oh select them all command it in fact you know what I'll just do that why is it not letting me save ah right it's because I'm trying to save it derp do you what we'll just do it like this then we'll just call it new big capital letters a e new a e there we go, and we will call it D1, that's fine, save, render, and that's that rendered, so now new AE, 
is save we want to now open up earth in view again like I said there's a link in the description box to install it it's free so it's a win-win situation for you you want to go to um, image create panorama and you want to select vertical panorama you want to add images uh, tutorial animated new AE that's it there you want to select all these files and hopefully when you launch them all you should see that they're all in numerical order starting at image 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 all up to image 299 or whatever, whatever whatever length of time you set your animation for you want to create image and then if we zoom in you will see zoom 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 you can see that that's the the textures are stacked on top of each other, that's called a vertical panorama uh, or vertical panoramic and you want, you now want to go to file, save as, and this is the important part now, the second important part we will make a new folder and we'll call it new earthan new earthan, there we go and we will call this, this is the important part you want to name it the block ID for example if you're making an animated diamond ore block the, the ID for diamond ore block is 50 so what you call this is custom spelt with the right way underscore terrain as in your terrain file underscore 50 and do save and then that's it easy as that and once you've done that then we can then close this you will open up your texture pack that you want to add your custom terrain to so if you don't know how to find your texture packs you go down to start percent sign app data percent sign select roaming find your dot minecraft and then scroll down to you see texture packs and I will add it to my Ben Effler texture so I will delete my other custom terrain and then I'll open up my new one which was in uh, my minecraft textures to animated and it was earthen a uh, new earthen there we go and all you do is you click and drag do ok make sure if some minecraft isn't running or it won't work and I'll just launch my server and I will launch my minecraft and just double check I'll make sure my Ben Effler texture pack is yep that's the one it's on and if I now go to multiplayer and run the server when I lay these blocks down there we go they're sparkling obviously seeing a whole bundle of diamond textures it looks a bit odd how you know you can see that they're all of us all online. I don't, you know, you might want to tweak it a wee bit. It looks, it doesn't look too brilliant, but you get the gist of how simple it was to save it. This was just a very quick version of how to do it. Uh, the sparkles could do with maybe being less bright. Some of them are too bright. Some of them aren't bright enough. The first sparkle that happens is far too bright. But like I say, it's so mega straightforward to have nice looking textures, and obviously you can do loads of stuff. I mean, you, you've got gold or iron ore, coal ore, you've got your diamond blocks, you've got loads of text, you've got TNT, you can have uh, a little countdown clock happening on it if you want to make it like a countdown timer happening, you know, starting at 9, going down to 0 and then it's going back to 9 again, there's loads of, loads of things you can do and hopefully it's taught you something, hopefully I've showed you a program that you've maybe not heard of before uh, I've got a, I've got a Twitter page now, so if you need to get in touch with me, you've got any questions, or you want to post in a request for a tutorial or a how-to video, you can at me at Ben Effler, and I will be happy to help in any way, shape, or form. And as always, I have been Ben, and you've been awesome. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, favorite, share, and do all the stuff that you're awesome at. Until next time, talk to you later.